We'll be aware. Well, in a day and age when the cost of just about everything seems to be going up, the price of one of the most commonly used medications dropped a lot. Yeah, as of January 1st, the cost of insulin went down to $35 for mostly everyone. Wink News Health and Medical reporter Amy Osher takes a closer look. Only a few years ago, people who depend on insulin for their diabetes were feeling a pinch. The drug was so expensive, some states sued drug manufacturers. The American Diabetes Association said the price tripled in less than a decade. A survey at the time found one in four type 1 patients rationed insulin because of the cost. It's what South Fort Myers pharmacist Justin Caravulo feared was happening when patients were slow to refill. You look at people's refill history and you tell them, hey, you're overdue for this medication, and they still tell you, oh, I have extra. But you're wondering, how do you have extra? He expects that will change. The price of insulin today is 35 bucks after the three largest manufacturers agreed to cap the cost. This significant drop is already being seen. As of this month, we've seen some insulins go from costing $300 a vial to maybe $60 a vial. Depending on the size of the vial, one can hold up to a few months worth of doses. Insulin is necessary for people with diabetes whose pancreas doesn't produce enough to manage sugar. If it's not controlled, a cascade of health issues can spiral out of control. The low cost is especially helpful for patients who rely on Medicare. What happens with Medicare is you get into what's called a donut hole, which basically you pay for the full cost. So having the insulin prices drop really helps them. There may be more good news to celebrate in the coming months. There is discussion about lowering the cost of insulin related supplies too, a move to make health care more affordable. Amy Osher, Wink News. Now, the price drop was initiated through the Inflation Reduction Act. More drugs may also be lowered in the near future.